Hi, this is Michelle for Afro Expats. Welcome to my lifestyle channel. Here we like to feature everything that we're doing in and about San Miguel de Allende, which is located in central Mexico. My son and I moved here in June of 2018 and my husband came down in February of 2020. We just wanted to share our experiences around this very amazing city and we wanna promote it and I want you to see all the cool, fun things that we get to do. So I've decided in addition to all the cool things that we've already been doing, I wanna start making smaller features about all the, the fun stuff there is to do. And don't forget that you can find us and our videos here online but I want you also to know that we were featured in International Living. In addition to that, we will be on a television show that's gonna be featured in the US in a few months, and I'll make sure that I put that out there and you stay tuned. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below so you can get all the latest in information about San Miguel in general. Join us, all right? Stay tuned for all future videos. So this video is kind of like a reintroduction um, and I'm trying to take everything to a whole different level and really show you that Mexico has so much um, going on. There's the beach, there's the mountains, there are these cool cities that I just think a lot of us had never heard of or had not visited or, you know, we we're only sold a bill of goods to go to Cancun or Los Cabos, which are equally beautiful. But um, there's so much to see and do in this country, tons of diversity. The geography can be so different. You can go somewhere to the north and it snows. Uh, you can go to the Yucatan and it's hot. You can head down uh, to the beach in Oaxaca and it's also hot, but very secluded and more private and more tranquilo. I'm gonna go to events, I'm gonna go to rooftops, I'm gonna check out restaurants and vineyards and the list goes on and whatever else I can get into. We've been fortunate enough to live here, even though the, during the pandemic, uh, we have just really found ourselves just uncovering so many things that you can do that don't involve um, being in a crowded room or a crowded area. There's so much outdoor. There are so many outdoor options and outdoor things that you can get into. I'm really excited about this whole journey. Um, my husband was able to come down a year ago and even with the pandemic and we had to kind of shut down and all the plans that we made to have all these like cool crazy dates just kind of you know got put on the shelf but we've been living our best life nonetheless just to give you some insight San Miguel is um, really a classy place it was um, voted three times over the last four years as the number one city to live in, the number one small city to live in. And um, in 2019, it was voted in third place. So it kind of gives you a general idea of like this really kind of somewhat hidden gem, but really not hidden, um, but it has grown exponentially over the last couple decades. And I'm just blessed that we are able to live our best lives here. And I want to be able to share some of these things with you, the um, cool spots that we go to and the restaurants that they have, the food, um, the music, the art, it just goes on and on. Our um, friends and all the people that we get to kind of like share our lives with right now. Although there are aspects that we miss about living in the US, but overall, I can say that uh, quality of life and just kind of our interaction from our day-to-day -day movements have increased tremendously here. This isn't a brag, this is just me wanting to make sure that everyone that lands on this channel gets to experience all the fun and cool things there are, whether you're planning a move abroad or whether you are just trying to go somewhere international or see something a little bit different. San Miguel is really one of the spots that you should add to your bucket list and or if you are interested in moving to Mexico, definitely check it out. It's a great, great city for community, for children, for families, single people, you name it. Um, we are, again, blessed to be here. So here I am sharing the word, spreading the love and information and I want to make sure that you guys get it so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so anytime that I come out with a new video for my channel that you can have that pop up and be a reminder to you um, we're going to be featured uh, in a couple months or less 
as I already said, on TV. So I want to be able to share these things with you. And I want you to be a part of this journey. We're excited to be here and we're excited to be able to share whatever we can that brings inspiration or curiosity or sparks an interest in what it is that other people are doing in other countries. So welcome to my channel. Again, open to everyone. It's just our perspective from an Afro expat's point of view. So I'm sharing our viewpoint and a lot of people want to know yeah what's it like for you guys do you experience this and you know are there other people that are um, there that are Afro expats things like that overall this journey is for everyone this journey is just simply called this because it's through the eyes of Afro expats as you can see crazy hair so hit the subscribe button below don't forget to share with your friends and your family if you want to find me online i can be found on all the social medias well not all i can be found on facebook and the gram and i can be found on the internet at afroexpats.com thank you for being here have a good one